Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard Neal, and I have just had a really painful one. Before I get into that, let me remind you folks that for every thousand subscribers I get, I purchase one of these bracelets from the company 4Ocean, and 4Ocean will pull a pound of trash off of our uh, coastlines and out of our oceans and keep our waters clean every time I do that. So if you could comment, like, and subscribe, the world will thank you for it. But you know, people have been talking about social distancing for the holidays, and you know, my parents divorced when I was three years old. My mother lived here in California. Her family was in Philadelphia. And every Christmas and every Thanksgiving, my father would come and pick up the children, take them to his relative's house. And my mother would spend her Thanksgiving and Christmas alone. <laughs> Never thought about it before. Ever felt so selfish in my life. I mean, here it is. This woman sacrificed her happiness for her children. And believe me, we're not the most grateful children. My brother complained about my mother for... Well, he never stopped complaining. I bet he's complaining about it right now, if, uh, if you want me to be honest. Gratitude was never his strong suit, though. But you just imagine that. Spending Thanksgiving and Christmas completely alone because you want your family to be happy. What a painful sacrifice. I mean, my mother loved being with her children. She really did. Her idea of a vacation was, you know, we all got in the car and took a road trip. Think about that. How many people really want to spend ten hours in a car with their three children and their dog? Now, was my mother perfect? No. She had problems. She had a really painful upbringing, lost a lot of her siblings. My understanding is that in my mother's household growing up, you had a 50-50 chance of survival. So she watched her brothers and sisters die. And that's a painful thing to do for the age of 18. So she grew up with problems. Anger problems. It didn't exactly help that she married a man who felt that when his wife was dying of cancer, he shouldn't be expected to clean up the bathroom. My father was not a very supportive person. He thought, I have a wife, that means I have a cook, I have a maid, and that should be it. So now I sit here and I think about it. You can tell. I'm bothered. But just remember that people are saying, you know, 
this might be somebody's last Christmas and you might social distance yourself. Yes, because you love them and you are protecting them and you are making a terrible sacrifice because you care about them. My parents broke up when I was three. My mother died when I was ten. She almost made it to uh, seven Christmases alone. So I want you folks to think about that this Christmas. If my mother who had been diagnosed terminal cancer when I was born could sacrifice her Thanksgiving and her Christmas every year for six years because she just wanted her children to be happy. What should we all be willing to sacrifice because we want our family to be safe? Life is about living. And I understand that. But it's not about taking stupid risks that put other people in danger. So yeah, I'm in a dark place. And I am going to spend Thanksgiving uh, Christmas alone like I have for the last ten years. My family hates me. So I'm alone. Don't have any friends who would want to share that experience with me. And really, I wouldn't want to impose, you know. That's just sad. I used to have friends that I would go to their house on Thanksgiving. But <laughs> these are people that also, for some reason, felt I was asking too much when I wanted people to get my name right. It's a long story, but people are strange. What I'm saying here is that if you are in such a position where the worst thing that happens to you this year is that you can't spend one day traditionally with your relatives. God, are you having a good year? I mean, I can't tell you how many times in 2020 I called 911 for something. Occupational hazard. People are being kicked out of their homes because there's no job for them to go back to and they can't pay their rent. People are going hungry. People are dying. And we're inconvenienced by a little loneliness. That's sad and pathetic. People should get the hell over it. But that's just my opinion. I'm Richard. That's right, Randall the Rat here, and I'm back. Despite your best effort to be lazy, Richard, the owner of this channel, is still going to pay for a pound of trash to be removed from the ocean for every thousand subscribers after he gets monetized. He's paid for two pounds. He wants to pay for more. He wants to save the ocean at no cost to you. And what do you have to do? What do you have to do, lazy, disgusting, delicious human? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you have to like. Like this video and comment on it. 
and encourage people to subscribe. Randall the Rat, uh, could you come over? I mean, you just, you look delicious. You know, come over, maybe don't comment on this video, because then people will know you came over, and then I'll eat you, and they'll know. Mmm, haven't had human in a while.